So this is gonna work. Just a wall full of lava. What is up guys, welcome back to another video and in this video we'll be making walk along gliders. So walk along gliders are basically things that um you need a board for them and then you walk behind that board and they hover in the air, you can make them go up or down side to side with the board. Um so in this video we'll be making one which I'll give to my friend. Um and I'll just show you some other stuff I've done. See is this foam glide no it's not really a glider it's a little throw plane it doesn't glide at all like this because this is le this weighs less than paper this kind of foam it's like epf foam um but this just a little foam simple cover made really um yeah okay so let's get started please hit that subscribe button as well um so as you saw my hoover yesterday that was pretty good still improving but yeah Okay, this is the foam we need. So this is weighs less than paper. It ca it's kind of packaging. It's not one that you have to cut with a hot wire cutter, which I'm making at the moment. Which I can cut other foam with, for example, this plane here I made, but um, I use a coping saw because I'm trying to make the hot wire cutter at the moment. But obviously, I don't need that at the moment because I've got this stuff, which is really light and really useful. For this tutorial you will need scissors, ruler, of course a pen. This glider I'll be making will be about the size of your hand. It's kind of a bug glider, I don't know, but you have to make the ailerons at the back. Um, the ailerons, which just makes it so if it's uneven you just adjust them and it'll make it better. And also use a paper weight at the front so you need some paper and some tape to get that going. So let's get started. Okay, you want to use your ruler to draw a 12 centimeters flat here. Um, so that's what I will do right now. I'll use scissors to cut this out because it kind of messes it up using a crafting knife. So you want to draw the line on the 12 centimeters and the one centimeters at the edge of here. Then you want to draw the line in the middle of 12 centimeters, which is of course 6 centimeters, and you want to make that about looking like that. So it's like a flying wing plane, really. So you don't want to make that too big, just about 4 centimeters. I don't know, yeah. I made my one 5 centimeters, and then you, of course, want to join up these lines here. There. there you go that's the um what i drew you may want to at four centimeters because actually it works a bit better but you obviously have the weight of the front um so now you want to cut this out um and also when you you can also use any kind of board paper will might it might work it's just not normally light enough and that's why i've got paper weight and some tape at the front because paper weighs quite a lot compared to this. This weighs less than a gram what I'm cutting out now. That's cut out, we want to move this to the side now. To make it even, you want to bend on this line here so everything is even. So you've got exact measurement. Make sure the back ends line up flat and then you cut the excess off if there's any stuff there if you can see like extra you want to cut that off okay so now that is all even um you now want to bend it i'll uh, keep it bent actually and you want to make the gaps for the elevons so just cut in the middle of the wing cut a similar size shape to where you want you have to make sure it's definitely even otherwise it will mess up but cut back here 
and there. So then you have your other ones, which you can bend up, which will mostly be bent up. Um, and if you throw, if you try to throw this plane now, it will be probably backflip loads of times or spin around because it won't be balanced. So let's just try throwing that down now. So let's see if this flies. Okay, obviously that doesn't fly particularly well, but it still glides down quite lightly. What you want to do is you want this. You want to bend the wing tips, which you want to bend them into where the flaps are. No, the elevon. So I always get it wrong. But you want to bend it into where the elevon, the end of it is. So right there. So then you can make sure they're both even. And even if to test if they're even, you can just fold it up again and they'll be in the same bit. If you want to, you can put a book on it because this frame doesn't really stay bent particularly well. Or you just keep on bending it loads of times. I'm putting pressure on it to make sure it's creased. But obviously that doesn't always work. So you have to do that. Um, Now... What you want to do is you want to get a tiny bit of paper. Paper is a bit different. It's a bit heavier, which might be better. Use the other ones if it's too heavy to move them up. Um, and so you put this piece of tape. If you can't see it, you'll just put it here. Make sure it's even. That is, and you can also keep moving it. So there you go. I'm just going to test to see if this flies. Okay, so this flies pretty well actually, if you can see. So you have to hold it by the centre of gravity, which is this line here. And you have to, if you test the flight speed, you have to walk at the same speed. And see, it glides pretty well, actually. I'll just do one more, try. Yeah, that, that works pretty well, actually. I think that will be a good glider, to be honest. Um, so let's test it. Well, you can also make this out of newspaper or tissue paper or something much lighter than paper. Um, something lighter than paper which will make it obviously light enough because it has to be so light to hover above a piece of thing. So um, I'm using this table mat here as my board and yeah. Okay, so let's give this a few tests and see if this works. So you you don't want to go in front of it, or you don't want it to go in front of you. So you have to keep exactly the same speed. Let's try again. So yeah, that works really well. Okay, so I, I'm honestly really pleased with this because it, it it works really well for my second glide I've ever made. You can see that. So it goes a bit further. I'll just try doing it this time. Yeah, so it will just hover above. I'll show you how to move it up and down, or side to side. So you just move the thing higher. And yeah, so that works really well. So let's go back to the other plane. Hey guys, so I'm really pleased with these. Um, this glider I just made because obviously it works really well, and I didn't have to adjust it at all. So it looks a bit different to my other one, and the other ones aren't even that high, and it just glides really well i think it's because of the back of it is kind of bending up which is good which gives it some lift um so i need to give you a quick talk on my plane at the moment i have with my plane my remote control one i made which you probably haven't heard much about on this channel i have been i bought a new esc because the other one didn't work so i got this new esc yesterday um and it's really annoying because it didn't work even though I just bought a new one. And I don't really know the problem because I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Um, and yeah, I just don't really know. So it might be a while, but I'm trying to get in contact with someone I know who makes planes, which is really experiencing them. But obviously, once I've got it done, I'll try and maiden it um, soon. And after that, my next project will probably be a flying wing, and I'll do videos and other stuff as well um 
so yeah thank you guys please subscribe hit that button there to see more stuff like this like and share and i'll see you next time i also comment below if you want me to do anything else because i don't really know what to do I'm a bit bored at the moment but yeah just tell me i'll see you next time